All right, it's Wednesday. Time to go on the docket with John Patrick Dolan, our camera our legal news analyst. And we've got three cases we're going to break down. Uh, a local one we'll start off with, and then two big entertainment ones. The first one we've been talking about here on the show, and that's William McCrum. He's the guy that, and I just moved back to the valley, so I'm getting kind of familiar with this case. But he provided the shotgun to his stepson that then the stepson used to kill someone. And uh, what happened with this case? Well, here's the latest development. Yesterday in court, he asked to be sentenced immediately. And this happens sometimes when people are unhappy about the verdict, obviously. He was found guilty of first-degree murder. The problem is he has a couple of burglaries in his long-distant past, and if those aren't dealt with in a legal manner called a Romero motion, he could be facing 50 to life instead of 25 to life because it is a third strike on top of a first-degree murder. So his lawyer has some work to do, and the judge recognized this and told Mr. McCrum, as much as you want to be sentenced, today, you need to let your lawyer do his work and come back on March 20th. So he'll be sentenced on March 20th. Okay, so that's that local one. Now another big one, entertainment news that we've been covering and probably a lot of people have seen because it was national headlines last week when the big rap mogul, Suge Knight, turned himself in on Friday after that hit and run uh, accident, as he's calling it, Thursday night where somebody got killed, somebody got injured. He says he was running away from attackers, but police say, no, 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 he ran over these guys on purpose and killed them. What's well, going on? You know the attorney. I know his attorney, David Kenner, and I've talked to David about this case. Suge Knight backed up because he was trying to get out of a confrontation, according to David, and that's where the death and the injury took place. Suge Knight, interestingly, has the same problem as Mr. McCrum. He has two prior Previous, robberies, yeah. not robberies, um, armed robberies, not armed robberies, assault with a deadly weapon. He's also facing an armed robbery he was out on bail for. So he's got some serious problems in order just to get back to square one in order to fight this case. But David Kenner, if anybody, uh, is the guy that can do it. He's the guy who represented Snoop Dogg, you remember, when he was a passenger uh, about 15 years ago and charged with second degree murder and uh, walked on the case. It's a tough case. Suge Knight is very well known as a tough guy, a gangster kind of guy. But uh, he's saying that he was simply trying to extricate himself from a fight and uh, it was accidental that the death right. and the injury took place. And looking at that video there and that business that had happened in, do you know, have you heard from his attorney? This was a, a fast food joint. Was there video? Can he show that he was? I don't think they have video there, no but video. I don't know for sure. But is it? pretty well-known place in Compton for people to hang around and people, let us just say, of the uh, rap community. Ah, okay. And the last one, and this one, if there's kids watching, uh, maybe take them out of the room, uh, parents, <laughs> because a Power Ranger is up on murder charges but was released because the new evidence has come out. Well, here's what happened. He and his uh, roommate had a fight. The roommate broke into his room. He had apparently locked the door, and he had a sword, and he stabbed his roommate in the abdomen, and eventually the roommate bled out and died. So the question is, is this a murder? Is this a manslaughter? Is this self-defense? And I think because that's an open question still at the district attorney's office, he was released on his own recognizance. However, a uh, very good chance that something's going to be charged. I don't think it's going to be murder. If anything, it'll be manslaughter. And this is named Ricardo Medina. He was the Red Power Ranger uh, when that show was on television, real popular and whatnot. But again, so from what you're hearing is he's claiming self-defense. And obviously there must be something there in the evidence that's pointing to that. Otherwise, you just don't release a guy. Well, you have one stab wound. You have a guy breaking into the room. You have a fight, which is a heat of passion kind of thing. So it's somewhere between self-defense and manslaughter, it looks like from the facts. And that's a decision that district attorneys have to make. Sometimes district attorneys don't file cases that are clear self-defense cases. Sometimes they file them in a heat of passion, manslaughter, and I think that's the decision-making going on in Los Angeles as we speak. Wow. All right. John, always great insight. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming along. There's John's information if you're looking for an attorney here in the Valley. Thank you so much. Indeed. A lot of stuff I learned. Didn't know all that. All right. As